Hi, today I'll give an overview of my decision process in coming up with a solution for me for having a more finished looking garage floor instead of just bare concrete and why I ended up choosing Swiss tracks uh, plastic flooring as, as my floor covering of choice. Uh, I've been a car enthusiast pretty much all my life and have always enjoyed nice cars and wanted the garage to be a space that reflected that, that, that looked nice, uh, had a floor that was both attractive and easy to take care of, uh, easy to clean. I live uh, on Long Island, New York, where obviously we get winters with, with weather, with uh, lots of snow, uh, plenty of rain in other seasons too, and so I need, needed something that would allow uh, snow to run off the cars and not make the floor a mess and, um, and look good basically in all seasons. I had initially been interested in doing either a painted or an epoxy floor because I always had seen pictures of those and thought that they looked so nice and that that would be a great solution. However, uh, a few people um, warned me about that, telling me that epoxy floors are, while well, initially they look great, they're not the best choice for a place uh, such as Long Island that has a high water table. The idea being that groundwater um, under pressure seeps up through the ground, through the concrete slab of the garage floor, and then it ends up making the epoxy layer bubble up over time. And uh, people, friends of mine, people I, who I know who have tried that uh, here have had that problem. Uh, also problems with some of the cheaper epoxy floors uh, lifting uh, under heat from hot tires uh, over time. And so they've been very frustrated with that. Um, given that, I realized that probably doing plastic tiling would be the best solution. I had originally had a garage tech system installed uh, in how the garage was prior to our renovation. Was pretty happy with it for time. It was, uh, for a certain amount of time, it was modular and had um, had the wall cladding that allowed uh, that allowed various things to uh, be able to hang on the walls for storage, which was a good system. And I used their their plastic tile flooring, which was was good for the time being. Um, then when we did our renovation, I wanted to try something different. Uh, Swiss tracks was attractive to me because they're thicker than standard um, than standard tiles. I believe Garage Tech and some of the other tiles are a half inch thick. Swiss Tracks is three quarters of an inch thick. So they're, they're heavier duty, a little bit stronger. And also I really like the design of their rib tracks, which uh, has flow through channels. So especially in the winter time uh, with snow melt uh, and, and debris, it basically, basically just flows through the, through the tile and then with the pitch of the, the slab floor runs out of the garage. Uh, so it ends up keeping a, a neater, nicer floor when the, when the weather isn't so good. And in the summertime, it looks great too. Um, Swiss Tracks has a great website um, where they have a configurator where you can uh, put in the dimensions of your garage and then play with how you have the design on the floor of all the different tiles, all the different uh, tile types and the different color combos. Um, so I used that, played with that for a while, and got a design that I liked. Uh, I then ended up using Matt Mormon from ObsessedGarage.com. Uh, I follow his, his channel, it's a great channel if you aren't aware of it to follow. Uh, and he, through his interest in it and, and installing his own floor, uh, ended up becoming a Swiss Tracks uh, dealer. So I got a great price through Matt, I would highly recommend him. Uh, they were delivered from California within a week or so and um, did installation in a couple days and have been very, very happy with them. FedEx came by today with 17 boxes from Swiss Tracks in California. Um, you can expect this big of a shipment for kind of a standard two car garage, roughly 20 by 20. Mine happens to be about 19 feet deep by about 21 wide, but relatively standard. You could expect this many boxes to show up. A look at the garage before Swiss Tracks installation. The standard concrete floor, unfinished. 
I had taped out on the floor locations of tires to give me an idea of where the cars sit in terms of designing the pattern on the Swiss Tracks configurator to see where exactly the car would be lining up with particular patterns or colors that would be where the cars are. But again, basic uh, new but unfinished concrete that hopefully will look a lot better shortly. Installation of the Swiss Tracks tiles was very straightforward. They have a few videos, do-it-yourself videos on their website, and there are also plenty of videos that other people have done, very extensive ones about installation of Swiss Tracks flooring on YouTube that you can see. Um, they, they snap together in a very easy manner. Uh, also makes it convenient that if ever one gets damaged in the future, it's easy enough to just pop out one tile and buy a replacement, uh, which is super convenient. Um, the longest part of the installation, other than, than that initial making sure that everything is kind of in the right position, is, is doing all the trim work, uh, all the edges around the sides and the back of the garage. And then in my case, since I have a lift in the garage, um, I needed to make cuts in the pieces to go around the posts of the lift. Um, so for just the edge pieces along the walls, um, a circular saw would work. Uh, Swiss Tracks will, will actually lend you a, uh, a special tile cutter machine or it's something that you could probably buy uh, pretty easily uh, that makes straight cuts if you don't want to use a circular saw. But then for the more uh, precise detailed cuts um, around something like the posts, I ended up using a jigsaw, which was pretty easy as well. So you just measure well, make sure that everything is, uh, is, is how it should be. Uh, and then do your cuts, and then everything snaps into place quite easily. The floor is now finished. Took me about two days total, uh, working on and off, taking breaks here and there, but one person in two days can very easily get a two-car garage done. And the Main tiles in the center of the floor went very quickly, and then most of the most of the time in the labor and work was spent doing all the edge trimming uh, to get the pieces trimmed to go up against the walls, and also around objects like the posts of the uh, of the lift. All in all, it came out. Great, I'm really happy with it. Happy with the color combo. Happy that I'm trying the new polished concrete vinyl tracks, which is a very cool look. Uh, almost gives the effect of looking like concrete next to the tiles, next to the, uh, the rib tracks tiles. All in all, a great, much cleaner look than just the bare floor. So, so far I've been very pleased with the Swiss Tracks flooring. It looks fantastic. It really finishes the garage nicely. Um, thanks again to Matt Mormon at Obsessed Garage for the great price and great customer service. And um, see you guys next time.